and welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous day today, this beautiful, beautiful spring Thursday. And, uh, man, I was uh, wondering if I was going to be able to go live today. <laughs> I was having some technical difficulties, but I got them sorted out for the most part. So I think we're good. I think we're okay. And, hey, because to one of my technical difficulties, which I have not had a chance to really dive into yet is my lack of green screen doing what I want to. I got to wear a green shirt today, so <laughs> there's something f fun for that. <laughs> hey, JS, and welcome, welcome. All right, let's uh, go ahead and jump over into the game, which is that button. Oh, and today it's, it's going to be a, a, hopefully a chill stream. I'm not going to be recording for a video today, but... Uh, you never know. Something fun might happen. <laughs> All right. But what I'm going to do today is I need to deal with this. So I've got a lot of... Well, I've got my storage here for my mob farm. This was all temporary, and some of it is full. Uh, heck, my overflow is starting to fill up. So... I need to set up real storage over here and I need to set up a way play for or a place for trains to come and pick up some of this stuff. So that's going to be the plan here. I hope want to be productive for the next two hours. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, productivity is a thing that happens on occasion. Um, what I need to do is figure out where the heck I'm going to put this stuff. Um, I think, I think I want to come out this way a little bit. And, oh, it's getting dark, but, um, let's see. I have just a little bit of cobbled goodness. Um, let's offload that wood. I think I'm going to need it later, but for now. Let's just, uh, oh, you know what really sucks is when your eye itches. That, that's less fun than it sounds. Ugh, hang on. All right, now, I suppose the responsible person in me would say, oh, yes, you can be productive. <laughs> but the reality is, I probably wouldn't be productive. <laughs> Oh, man, it feels like I got, got something in my eye. Oh, man, well, last uh, Tuesday was horrific. Tuesday was a, hey, um, my nose is going to itch, and it's not never going to stop. It was, it was just one of those days. And uh, turns out less pleasant than one might hope. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little paving area here around my build. I would need to set up an RSVP thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, three weeks ago. Sure. Yep. I've had those types of projects. Kind of need this done, like, you know, a week from last Thursday. It should be good, right? Oh, speaking of being productive, I have to go to work tonight. That kind of sucks. It's one of those joyous occasions that happens in IT, the after hours maintenance. Which uh, definitely gets old as I've gotten old. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. All right, so let's see. I'll clear out a bunch of this hill. Now, yeah, yeah, I could probably get it done. I, I understand that. Yep, I get to go and add encrypted drives to servers and things, which is a good thing to do, but, you know, I'd rather not. I kind of want to sleep tonight, you know what I mean? Uh, doing maintenance after hours always just 
Which means I'm not going to get sleep tonight. It'll be 11 or midnight before I get to sleep, and I'm up again at 5 or 5.30. Yeah. You know, that type of thing. All right, so the rail is up here at, what is it, 69. Nice. Okay, so... I could build that up, let it, let it go this way. Honestly, I kind of like the idea of it maybe running through here. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. All right, so let's figure out a couple of things. Now I have, that's not full speed. Where do I have, do I have full speed under any of this? No, I don't. So whatever I set up, if I want it to go super fast, I'm going to have to, uh, that's the main power line. I'm going to have to set up a, a rotational speed controller. Not a big deal, but, you know, a thing that it's going to have to happen. All right. So I have, what is this, seven, I think, of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. So let's grab 30. That'll be enough for, for the moment anyway. Okay, ducky. So, so basically I need to set up seven storage vaults. So that's going to be 21 blocks. And I want to start... Let's see. Let's bring this out this way. Yeah, all set up this way. That that should be fine. All right, so the first storage. I thought I had... Oh, I turned it into bricks. <sighs> Smooth. All right. Let's try slabs. Thank you. Appreciate ya. All right. So the center of this is going to be here. All right. So which means we're going to go like that. All right. Now, these are going to stick out this way quite a bit because I want these to be full-size vaults. I want nine blocks, <laughs> right? These things are going to be huge. All right, which means one, two, three. That's one. So one, two, three, four. And then this way. I should just uh, maybe not fall in that hole. I mean, I probably will anyway, but for the moment, let's maybe not do that. I've fallen in more than my share of holes in this world, and uh, I think maybe falling in this one would be less fun than it sounds. All right, so one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Okay. This is my uh, music background coming in. Okay, so, oops, that's not where that goes, thanks. Oh yeah, hack and slash those blaze. All right, so it's gonna be this wide and then let's go craft up 18 trillion uh, vaults here, so. Let's get uh, a crafting table. That would be helpful. Let's turn all of those into slabs. Now, I happen to have, conveniently enough. Okay, we'll turn that into a barrel. Someone uh, thanks you for your posts. Document is, oh, getting your, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's always nice when uh, someone finds your post helpful, you know, and then lets you know it was helpful. Back when I actually wrote up blog posts that were helpful to people. No, actually, that was one of those things that I, I kind of liked when it happened was uh, when somebody would uh, send me a message about my book. It's like, oh, yeah, this was this was great. Definitely wonderful. It helped me do this, this or this or whatever, you know, that was that was always fun. All right. Um. All right, so let's craft up a trillion barrels here. And a few more slabs, apparently. And more barrels. All right, well, that's some. Yep. Has, no, no. I, I wrote basically the equivalent of four books. I wrote one book and three video training series, and that is enough for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I am okay if I don't do that again. Oh, that's right, it's two stacks per stack. Okay. No, man, it was so much work. I mean, okay, was it kind of rewarding? Sure, but no. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, looks like I need to come one more. And, oh, okay, so am I out? Kind of, but no, nine. Yeah, right, and that's going to... Just to be sure, but yeah, nope, that's a whole nother vault. So cool. So basically, I need to come out this far at least. Cool. So that's easy enough to do. Oh, I'm almost certainly going to have to get more material, but oh, the hardest part. Especially for my last video training series, the Advanced Docker Operations series, was uh, actually setting up the lab. There were some things I had to cover and was just painful to set up at home. And that I got, it got to a point, I mean, I was ahead of schedule, but it was getting close to being back on schedule. <laughs> and my editor was like um you okay we're gonna we're, we're doing this right yeah and i'm gonna need a lot more wood than this all right so yeah it was it was uh a lot of work for not nearly enough money <laughs> All right, and I am definitely going to need more, but, all right, all right, hang on, we'll get this crafted, all right, and sleep. I haven't gotten Docker working at home. Yeah, well, setting it up in, like, swarm mode is really, really easy, but setting up Kubernetes, oh, that's hard. That's hard. I highly recommend getting something like, um, oh, 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 Rancher. So Rancher has a nice ISO that you can get that'll just help you set up uh, and create a Docker cluster. Definitely helpful. Two, three. Come on. Yep, get all this and stuff in place. There are a couple of other, you know, Kubernetes cluster in a box type solutions. But 
rancher works pretty well. But I had to go set up Kubernetes basically from scratch because I needed to I needed to document setting it up with Ceph. And man, that was a hassle. Dev Portainer, yeah. I looked at Portainer and uh then one of their techs decided that uh they didn't quite like the way things were uh, working on our sales call and Ugh, this is going to take so much wood. All right. Cuz Yeah, what we're using right now to manage our cluster works, uh, but it's very expensive, and I was kind of hoping to find something a little cheaper. <laughs> but. Yeah, not not as nice as I would have liked. All right, so let's get. Two, three, four, five. Don't need that. Six, seven, eight. Might as well. Honestly, I'm just going to throw that back there and let's just grab one more stack of wood all right hopefully i've got enough iron i mean i could always smash up more it just it's just gonna take time if i thought about this ahead of time but i've done the math and it's like oh okay i'm gonna need 18 trillion volts okay let me just craft those up now but i was not thinking about that All right, I do not need the kelp at the moment, or the brass ladders, or the dirt for that matter. So, or actually the uh, quartz, but I may grab some of that later. You only have one server. Yeah. Oh man, containers are the way to go. If you have the option of running a service in a VM or in a container, man, I would take a container every time. It's so much easier to manage, so much more secure, and assuming you set things up correctly. And, oh, I, I love it. Okay. Barrels and some more barrels. Yep, because containers are just that much easier to use. You can build them consistently. They're, uh, yeah, they're they're fabulous for all of that. All right, so I've got two stacks and then some of barrels, I think. So what is it? It's twenty. It's nine times three, so it's twenty-seven times seven. What is twenty-seven times seven? Um, hey, you may want to mute your mic for just a sec. Hey, or your speakers. Hey, Google. What is 27 times 7? 189. Awesome. Okay, so. 189. Hey, Google, what's 189 divided by... Uh, 64. It's three. So I'm going to need three stacks. Cool. Say convenient that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just a little bit. Off just a bit. But. It's all good. All right. That should be sufficient. So now. One, two, three. Five, six. All right, now this should give me enough vaults to to at least finish this project. I'll have more to go, but for now, this will do it. All right, so we're gonna. Okay, really? There we go. 
it's really convenient when it lets you do that. But apparently it doesn't look at the rest of your inventory. Wow. What did I... Oh, shoot. It's 80... It's 9 times 9, so it's 81. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. I need 81. All right, let's try this again. Hey, Google. What's... 81 times 7. And Google, what's 567 divided by 64? Try this again. Hey, Google, what's 567 divided by 64? 9. So 9 stacks. Okay. <sighs> See, this is why I'm not some engineer. Did I major in math? Yes. Does that mean I know anything about, you know, counting or anything like that? Not especially. All right, so we're getting there. So nine stacks, huh? Actually, I'd probably only need like eight stacks because of reasons, but all right, I'm going to have to go get some more wood slamming down then because that's going to be it's two stacks of iron sheets per vault so I'm going to need twice as many so that is going to be well two stacks of iron here okay not uh, a big deal just uh Slap that in there. Oh, let's go and turn it on. Wow. All right. No, no, we got this. We got this. It's... Oh, man. It's all right. At least I've got a calculator right here that responds to verbal commands. <laughs> Oh, man. It's off by just a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Each of those is four. So, 11, 12, 13. So, I'm actually going to need nine plus another four stacks. Okay, but I already have two stacks of barrels, so I'll grab a couple more st stacks of logs. Okay, this will work, I'm totally sure. Fortunately, I have a spare shulker box just hanging out here. Otherwise, I'd have to go craft shulker boxes too, and that would only be slightly annoying. Anyway. <laughs> Brother told you should document some of your printing and electronics projects. <laughs> Come on, documentation is important. Actually, no, seriously, that is an important skill. Is to be able to document your projects in such a way that somebody else can uh, understand them and reproduce your results. I don't mind just hanging out here for a little bit, waiting for night to fall so I can sleep, but it does let that iron finish uh, getting all smashificated over there. Yeah, that's one thing I, those few times I've been hiring people, uh, when I've been on hiring committees and stuff, that is one of the things I look for is uh, 
it, it's writing ability and the, the ability to communicate towards using it as a portfolio. Oh yeah, sure, absolutely. Because if you can show your prospective employer, hey, this is what I've done in my spare time, right? especially if you're trying to get into to, uh, the tech field, being able to point to a body of work that says, oh look, this is what I've worked on. This is what my code looks like. Here's uh, Here's my documentation to show you how this works then yeah, it can, it can really get you in. In all honesty, I'm just standing here. Might as well craft up some barrels while I'm doing it. All right. It's not going to be enough. Crafting table, there we go. All right. Said since I've got to be here anyway. Uh, barrels, barrels. Honestly, this is something I should think about automating too is barrel production. Just uh, have not gotten around to it yet. But it would be really nice to do. Because barrels are used for lots of things. They're used for um, vaults. They're used for fluid containers. All that good stuff. All right. Here it goes. Another stack. So, yeah. Automated barrel production might be something I have to move up my list here a little bit. Okay, so that's four stacks. Five. That's fine. It's like, how much room am I going to need for all of the intermediary steps here? Right, barrels and barrels and all the barrels. Crafting so many barrels. Oh, and I'm out of slabs. Oops, that's my wrench. Wrenches do not become barrels. I know it's weird, but it's absolutely true. Not a barrel at all. Yeah, that'll be two stacks. That should be fine. All right. Okay. Yeah, no, we're good. Totally good. Everything is, is awesome. Ah. But, yeah, of course. Say all that about a hiring committee. I haven't been on a hiring committee for a while, so. I also haven't gone John hu job hunting myself for a while, which is not a bad thing. I don't mind not looking for a job. <laughs> or more to the point, I like having one and not having to go look for one. Does that make sense? Okay. Also, I do have two stacks of barrels made up, so that's awesome. All right, I think, actually, that might do it. I hope. Could be wrong, but I'm definitely hopeful. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some more of these as they go clanking away. Job as a communications tech. Oh, okay. Yeah, no callback. Yep. All right, so there's seven. And I've got two more stacks of barrels plus in my inventory, so now I'm just waiting for all of this to, uh, to go. Oh. 
You know, I like my little machine, but it's uh, it is limited in its bandwidth here. <sighs> Sorry, it's probably making everybody sick out there. That's All right, here we go. 40, yeah, yeah, that's not bad at all. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, except we need some other form of experience than what you have, right? Yeah, there's some nice jobs out there if uh, if you can manage to have the right skills for them, <laughs> right? Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, well, yeah, and the college degree. Yeah, and that's that's the other annoying part is sometimes it's like, okay, they want the degree. That's annoying, but it's like, can you get get by with a certificate? Do you have certifications that might get you in? It's all it's all messy. Okay. Looks like I got one more stack coming. All right. Uh, one more stack to go, which means I need two more stacks of iron. So pretty much once this is all done, I should be good to go. Uh, I don't know why I'm just dancing around here. It's a thing. Actually, I need to seriously consider um, redoing something with this farm. I don't know what. But I also need to consider an industrial carrot farm and possibly even a, an industrial melon slice farm, which I would probably stack on top of this guy. But that's going to be annoying. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like, all right, so here's an apprenticeship. Why bother with it? At least the thing they get with the degree is that, oh, hey, you've put in enough effort to learn something at some point in your life. That tends to be about the, the limit of where that ends up going. All right, that should be enough. Wasn't quite even, but because I ran out of barrels, but should be okay. Ouch. All right. Yeah, we have a degree requirement where I work for a lot of those tech positions, but we're also a university, and so somebody takes an untoward amount of delight in requiring a degree. Because, you know, that's kind of what we do. It's, there's university, and you got to have a degree, right? Now I'm in the way. Cool. Oh, yeah, this is going to be exciting here. Yeah, I, I'm not... I have no idea what this is going to look like once I get all of this in place. Right, I'll get the vaults in. I know what that's going to look like. But, in all honesty, I don't know... Um, I don't know what this structure that I'm going to be putting together is going to look like. I, this is all uh, sort of all ad hoc, you know? Yeah. Well, and that's the... That's the other fun, right? Is 
How many bad candidates do you have to filter through to even find those those diamonds in the rough, right? Just ask Jafar how hard it is to find a diamond in the rough, man. He'll tell you. It's not easy. But yeah, just trying to... Okay. Ow. All right. Let's sleep and then... Let's see. The next thing I'm going to need is... All right, I only have five brass funnels. I'm going to need more than that. Do I have... Do I have brass... No. Yeah. Well, and that's it, right? It's like, uh... Can we just, uh... Filter on this easily? Yes? Okay. I actually want to run this way, because I need to figure out where I'm going to run my, uh... Um... My line here. And I have done... Have I done something stupid? I might have. I very well might have. Okay, so... Basically... Oh yeah, so all of this is going to come down this way. I'm going to have my uh, have the feed line come down here and then it has to come in and basically parallel all of these vaults except whoa except um, well the vaults are up here and the line would be down here. Hey Sprite, how's it going? <laughs> Honestly, for me, have I if while I'm streaming, have I done something stupid? Uh usually any time within the last five minutes, that pretty well is a yes. Alright, so what I'm going to need to do here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. All right, so what I might want to do is, um, well, fiddlesticks. And I'm going to need a lot more funnels, too, to make this pay off. Okay. Man. All right, so I think what I'm... Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, really dumb, yeah. Was that... Didn't you post something in Discord about... Uh, setting something on fire? <laughs> Am I remembering that right? Maybe I'm remembering something else. All right, so I think what I want to do is actually take these vaults and put them... Do I want to move them down three blocks? Ugh, okay, yeah. Doable, but... All right. Yeah, because if, if I want the top there... Okay, jeez. No, nah, this, this is this is gonna be fine. Everything's totally fine. We're all fine here now. How are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, just very burnt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put ramen in the microwave without water. Yep. Oh man, I had one of those. I'm better than this moments a while back. I was. Uh, cooking frozen pizza now 
Frozen Pizza and I are well acquainted, right? Oh, yep, there's definitely a uh, zombie down there. Is that a... Oh, no, that was just... Okay. Anyway, so I was making a frozen pizza. I was actually making three frozen pizzas, because that's just... Because I was cooking for the, the family. Cooking frozen pizzas. And, uh... Okay, put them all in, cooked them forever, pulled the pizzas out. I forgot to take them off the cardboard. And, uh, I mean, the, the, the still cooked okay. It was just, I felt really, really dumb. So this is not my first rodeo with frozen pizza. As I said, we are well acquainted. I used to eat a lot of frozen pizza when I was in school, too. And, yeah. Microwave Red Baron French bread. Nice. Yep. We had to stop getting the Red Baron pizzas. They were not nearly as good as what we were getting for better price. Oh, hang on. My leg itches. Okay. All right. Say it's a nice little build and chill. I get to build and then tear out everything I just built and then digs a while and then build again. This is this is the riveting content that, you know, we're all here for. <laughs> but no, it was Wow, am I out of I'm out of torches? Okay. Yeah, frozen pizzas are, they're definitely a thing. All right, I'm out of lamp, or out of torches, but I have f more than my share of frog lights. We are, we're gonna be fine here. S assuming I can get my fingers in the right place, all right. Ugh. This is also one of those weird points where I could pull out one of my digging machines and let it dig this for me, but I melted a strainer on the burner. Oh, nice. Oh, put it on top of the burner that has the oven vent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how many of my uh, stirring spoons have uh, little notches melted into the side where I laid them on the side of the the pan while things were cooking. <sighs> I am really, really wishing for an efficiency five beacon right about now too. All right, one more thing to add to the wish list. Uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. Man, those are a little bit of a pain to build. They're not especially hard in and of themselves, but all of the work you have to do to just get the rates up so that they're reasonable is honestly painful. It's just... Uh, it's like, I, I don't want to pave the nether today. And you can do some tricks by, okay, you get this, just pave enough of it so you can go on the roof and AFK up there and stuff, but... I've done that once. I did that on Mandolin's server. I set up a wither skeleton farm. And I went out and paved the nether. Found myself a, the, the uh, despawn sphere... And I went out and just put down slabs everywhere in the nether that I could uh, get it. Took uh, several hours. Yep. Fortunately, I've recently uh, decided to hand that farm over to Mandolin, so it is going to that community. So, so for all of those people on that server who feel the need for wither skulls. 
Heck, I think I have a stack and a half of Wither Skulls just sitting in the storage over there. I was toying with the idea of using um, beacons. Not lit beacons, just the beacon blocks as uh, decorations in a city I was building. And then I got so burnt out on building it that decided that, yeah, no, I'm done. I am. I will not be working on this anymore. All right, first off, where's my steak? Okay, cool. All right, time to uh, tear down all of the vaults. Fortunately, these things are basically insta-mine with the wrench, so... So that's nice. It's just... This would be, this would be a little bit nicer with uh, Swift Sneak, because I've got a crouch to do it. But I haven't made my way out to a deep dark to get Swift Sneak enchantments yet. Another thing to add to the list of things to do, because that's fun. Actually, I want to get out to a deep dark here in the not too distant future anyway, because I think I want to set up a skulk farm. Because skulk is just a cool block to build with. And I thought it might be nice to uh, maybe combine that with an Enderman farm. Oh yeah, you're checking out the new snapshot? Yeah, I got to see part of that stream. Um, some of that looks really cool. I like the new stuff they're doing with signs. <clears throat> right, I like the fact that, hey, you can actually edit a sign. Shock of shock and whatever's man you can edit signs you can set them up um you can write on both sides of them different text on both sides different dyes and different colors and that would be awesome like it's one of the things i used to do it when i was marking out uh tunnels and things is i would use signs and then use the signs to kind of label, oh yeah, I'm going here, there, or whatever, this way to, to this, or whatever. Right, yeah, and wax makes them uneditable. You can't scrape the wax off, though, unfortunately, so I think you have to break the sign if you currently. I don't know if that's an oversight or an intentional design, but it's annoying. But one of the cool things is then you could set up a sign and again, assuming you want to bring all of this stuff with you, set up a sign, put, say, green wax on or green text on one side, red text on the other. You can even use uh, glow ink to make it even easier to see. Um, and that could look really cool as, as guides, guideposts. Or, you know, just set up a scumpus. <laughs> but. Those don't look nearly as good. Or, you know, hey, follow the red signs to the spider farm and the uh, yellow far signs to this and the green signs to this. All right, so where was the center of this guy? Looks like right here. 331. Okay. No. 83 is what I'm looking at. 83. Okay. You know, this might be easier. Let's just, let's just get up here. Do I have dirt? No, I just, heck, I even put all the stone away. Smooth. Yep. No, exactly. It's like all of that type of stuff is, would be uh, super cool, right? Nope, that's not going to work. All right, this is not going to happen the way I wanted to. OK. 
Okay. There we go. This will work. So those three go there. All right. Cool. So there's those three, or actually those four. Okay. So now let's get these three going. All right. But yeah, all of those painted floor signs, you know, just could be just, it could be so much easier to actually see what's going on, right? But, all right, let's see now. Four, five, six, seven. Oops, nope. Nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Yep. Eight and nine. Okay. Nope. I can. There we go. There we go. Got it. Oh, look at all these out here. It'll be. Yeah, see? Easy peasy. I am kind of glad I can just slap that on there and it will fill out the vault for me. That makes that a heck of a lot easier. Come on. Okay. All right, there we go. So good. So now all of those are there. I can... Well, I've done uh, screwed up again. All right, so here's the problem. Told you, wait about five minutes for the next uh, mistake. So here's the deal. In order for this to work, do I have the, yeah. So let's take a funnel here, right? So there's the funnel. It's going to go there, um, and if I want to, this to pick up something, I don't know that I can put the belt right across that. All right, let's uh, see what I got here over here. Grab some of these, grab some of those. And maybe I can make this work. Also, looks like I am done with the vaults. So that'll be nice. Suppose I should set up a little overflow chest or something. But So the idea here is that... Nope. That... Good enough. All right, so this is going to come this way. Uh, actually, I do want that to come up to there. And if I put this here, can I... Right. Yeah, see, what I have to do is... I have to put the belt lower. So this is where it's going to come through. All right, now this is this will be fine. I just have to grab a chute and drop everything down a block. I can make this work. It's just annoying. It'll be it would be easier if I didn't. But to fix this, I'd have to move the vaults again. And I do not want to move the vaults again. I didn't want to move them in the first place. I certainly have zero desire to move them again. So I'm just going to put these frog lights in here to give things plenty of light and not move the vaults. Uh, 
No, no, this is fine. Everything's fine. I'm not at all messing anything up. No, we're good. Totally. Ah, but the other thing I'm, I'm not, I'm both excited for and also very skeptical of is the, um, this new update to the skulk sensors. Aside from the fact they just completely broke all of the, uh, anything that used skulk sensors before. The, or anything that was dependent on skulk frequencies before. They, uh, I'm really concerned just about, they, they did this whole wireless redstone thing, which Skulk has been doing for a while anyway, but man, it's, a uh, it is really messed up. Okay. Yeah. And I'll just put a shoot there and that's fine. And then. There, that'll work. Okay, that'll just, that'll move everything over and. Okay, and those will go on top. I can live with that. All right, cool. And so, yeah, the, so the way they've got it all set up, it's just a little bit, a little bit wonky, I think. Okay, this is the center right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, bring this this way. Okay. All right, that'll go like that. Wonderful, and now this is gonna have to come over this way. And I'm gonna have to get all sorts of uh, stuff going here yeah but the new the new stuff with the, the calibrated catalysts and stuff that makes some stuff easier which is a good thing um definitely makes it easier if you are trying to tune your system so it listens for for specific signals and things like that but it's a uh, it only has like an eight block range. So it's like, how is this going to help me? How's this gonna actually work, right? You know, Can that go that way? Yes, good. So yeah, it's definitely, so I I'm, guess I'm somewhat spoiled by the redstone links here in uh, create mod where it's like, oh yes, here's the link, here's the frequency. And it's just going to transmit the signal. I mean, it did have a couple of nice features because using uh, amethyst and stuff, it'll let you uh, pull the, the exact signal over range. You just have to build these repeaters every eight steps. And that is going to be a little bit of a hassle, you know? Um... Well, as long as everything keeps up, which it should, because it's never really dropping more than three or four items at a time. I mean, there's a lot going on here with, but this is still one at a time. The blaze farm is a couple and the spider farm is never more than three, I think. So yeah, we should be good. So cool. So what I'm going to do here, ah, cheese monkeys, <sighs> cheese monkeys are out in force today, man. Spotify has an AI DJ support, huh? I guess that makes sense. All right. So that is actually going to want to go to there. Um, so this is all. I covered it all up. Where does this all connect? So this connects to that. So as long as I keep this spinning in the right direction, we should be good. 
All right, so let's get gearbox. Hope this is right. Yeah, that's going to be absolutely the right direction. So that's going to go that way. And then that reverses. So let's go ahead and get another gearbox just to keep that running. Gearbox. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to... Um, did that gearbox get eaten? Yes, it did. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's just make it a vertical gearbox. <laughs> That'll... Oh, except it's going the wrong way. I need it to link these guys. There, like that. Wonderful. Cool. So now, let's go... S oh, I need more brass funnels. I think one of these I had... I don't think I have brass. I do have kelp. And I have... Okay. Let's go get some brass. Teaming out a computer-generated AI voice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Feels like listening to a radio. Okay. That could be cool if you like that sort of experience. I don't know. I haven't listened to the radio voluntarily in forever. But... That is definitely a cool... See, that's definitely one of those cool things. Like, yep. AI. This is this is a good use for it. I had to chuckle a little bit. Um, what am I missing? Oh, I'm out of lights. Um, I have a lot of redstone. I just have to get at it. Uh, so... One of the things that they had going on at some point, somewhere. Oh, yeah, I had to, uh, I was writing a thing. I'm giving a presentation. And I was wondering, fighting through all of the stuff to make it work. and Doing all the research, like, or, or what if I just feed this to chat GPT? <laughs> it pulls mostly from your playlist. Okay. Yeah, see, that's one of the things I've liked about listening to uh, Pandora. Is that I can... It's not mob drops. Redstone. It's over here. Is that uh, Pandora was would give me some new songs on occasion. Yep. My problem is I don't want to pay for Spotify. <laughs> so... You lose all of those fun ad-free options. <laughs> okay, and Pandora, I admit, I cheat. I uh, <clears throat> I use Adblock, and it blocks the ads very well. And I should probably not, but I do. So, uh, let's see, 6 should be 14. Okay, I'm, I'm good at this game. See, look how good I am? All right. Let's go smash a few things. But no, that is really cool, though. It's like, oh, yeah, we'll just... Uh, we'll do the thing. It's good. All right, now I'm going to need... All right, let's go ahead and just get the sandpaper. Let's... Shine this all up. Oh, yeah, Pandora's not in Canada. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, that was almost the perfect amount. I needed one more sandpaper. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay. All right, nice. So now, let's come over here. Get all the stuff I just went all smashy smashy with. Perfect. Now I've got all the electron tubes. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Can I...
All right, let's go get the brass I left in the storage over here, because why would I want to bring it with me? Because it would be efficient, and I'm not going to do efficient. That's... Seriously, being efficient is much less work. I should just do it. I don't, and I, I kind of feel bad about that. Anyway, <laughs> let's, uh... Get some more brass. Because, yeah, I'm going to need... Yeah, that, well... Four, I will need 14 of them. Uh, but I'm going to get 7 or 8 of them back once I get this all put together. Oh, I've, I've been meaning to ask. Sprite, how did your birthday go? Everything fun and awesome and exciting, I hope? She's like Apple Music. Well, I don't use Apple, so that. <laughs> but hey, you know, all the good stuff that works, right? All right, nice. So everything's going to come this way. All right, now I'll, I'll do stuff with, with these ones later. But first, I need to first put some, really? I need to stop doing that. <laughs> All right, so I need spider eye, string, laser rod, magma cream, magma cream. Gonna get some magma. Pretty much like any other day. Okay, nice. Oh, it's a game you're too eager to wait for. I get you. All right, so those and then that. Okay, that'll work. All right, so I want to get these uh, filters set up here. Oh, come on. Click on the right things, man. You're a middle-aged man. You should be able to click on stuff. All right. Cool. So we'll set up spider eye, string, blaze rod, magma cream, frog lights, other frog light, and even other frog lights. Cool. All right, so now everything should be set other than the fact that that's not moving. Um, everything should be set to get this going, I hope. So let's get a couple of gearboxes, which should be fine. And I've got the shafts, which I need. Awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine to a sort of controversial game. Yeah. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, but I'm also one of those people that look at some of that controversy and it's like, okay, you know, I guess, but not really. <laughs> All right. So, uh, come on. All right. So that's going to go there. And there, and perfect. So that's all going to roll out the way I need it to go. Now I could, and I probably should, put a little bit of an overflow chest over here. Yeah. Yeah, some of it I understand. Um, some of it I think is overblown. But, you know. I also accept that, hey, I'm not here. I'm not part of the uh, community or, or, you know, and so. So I get some of that, too. All right, so we've got that. I had chests over here somewhere. There they are. Let's grab a couple of chests. 
Oh, you know what? I think I can throw most of the stuff back there. Yep, there they go. Getting sucked in. Perfect. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and set this here like this. Oops, nope. But then again, given my uh, given my political leanings, I have to ignore more often than not the. Uh, uh, anyway, let's, maybe I'll get a hopper to put under there. The uh, political views of creators and just focus on the art. Okay, get out of the way. So, you know, maybe I'm just used to that. <laughs> so, you know, so things like, you know, like the Harry Potter stuff. It's like, okay, you know, I get you don't like this. And there are parts of it, you know, I, I've certainly disagreed with uh, Rawling on a number of things, but take one of those set that there all right yeah i was a little bit worried about some things getting pulled over but i think in the normal course of action here we should be okay all right cool so now the next thing i need to do is all right i need to break this whoa okay and then Expand that, and then put the uh, thing there. Okay, well, that's convenient. Um, let's see. All right, so that's all going to go that way. So what I can do, at least for most of this, is I can flip those around and just have it dump out into the dealy bob there. Um... I'd like to do that with this as well, but I think to make that happen, all right, yeah, I think to make that happen, I'm gonna need a gearbox. I'll grab a couple of them just to be sure. Um, oh shoot, yeah, cause that's attached there. Yeah, no, it's also bringing people to the stuff she created, but yeah. Yeah, right, she gets, there was some licensing. That's about it, but, you know. Yeah, said I get some of it. So I think if I want to make this work, I think what I'm going to have to do is, is break this. If I said it this way, everything goes in reverse. So let's go ahead and just slap that down like that. And then put this there like that. Cool. That'll send everything where I need it to go. Nice. So now, <laughs> this is actually uh, really convenient. Um, Just moving my ex the existing storage out into the new storage. So, awesome. And so this should all just go this way and get sucked in, and I should not be seeing any of the uh, important bits end up in the chest down here. So, <sighs> but yeah. Well, yeah, see, that's the thing. It's not like, I mean, Warner Brothers bought the rights to all this stuff, right? And they are going to monetize it. And they are going to distance themselves as they can from the creator because, you know. But, all right, so that could go there. All right, nice. So. So this is good. Storage is getting reloaded. Perfect. Um, all 
Okay, and yeah, I said if anything goes over, eventually it'll get fed in through the hopper, which is slow, but it'll work. Just about everything else will get dumped in anyway. I suppose if I wanted to slow this down here a little bit, let's just have these everything here drop in stacks of 16. And that'll that'll keep it from backing up on the on that chute. Okay. 15, 16, and 16. Awesome. Yeah. And that's it, you know? That's And you know, the internet never forgives. Right? It's not that they never forget, which they don't do that either, but they never forgive. So. So the, like the, the Harry Potter franchise will always be, I don't want to say tainted, but we'll always have to deal with, uh, you know, Rawlings Legacy. It's, and honestly, the same is true with anything. Star Wars. Stephen King's stuff, right? All that stuff. It's got its own, um, you know, you can't separate that stuff out from, from those people either. So, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, Disney's, I mean, George Lucas doesn't own Star Wars. <laughs> uh, you know, Disney paid $4 billion for Lucasfilm, but... Yeah, George Lucas will always be there. But on the other hand, Lucas was always he he stayed fairly politically quiet, right? He had his political views. I mean, the original or the Return of the Jedi is an allegory in some ways of the Vietnam War, with the uh, Empire representing the United States. But, you know, so it's not like Lucas hasn't, uh, you know, at heck, you look at, you look at in the prequels, almost all of the Nemoidians uh, in the Trade Federation were named after politicians, right? Or, you know, so you've got Newt Gunray. Well, remember Newt Gingrich was the, was the, uh. Speaker of the House, I think, and Gun Ray is the reverse of Reagan, um, you know, and basically he cast Republicans as the villains in his movie. I, I am politically, I'm a politically right wing. I'm not want to get into the politics, but this is, I'm a libertarian basically, um, and so Star Wars in its very DNA mocks my beliefs, or or vilifies my beliefs. But, you know, I, so I have to separate myself from the the fact that I disagree with George Lucas's politics and it, accept that I really like the story he told. So, you know, it's hard to avoid that. Just like you're saying there, JS, you know, it, it's, and I don't even think you should necessarily keep them to yourself, but we need to accept that people have different beliefs and not all of them are uh, quite as problematic as some as they're sometimes made out to be. You know, this should be dropping them at 16 at a time, but apparently it's maybe because of the hopper, to be honest. The hopper is sort of sneaking in there. But yeah, it also doesn't help that uh, internet culture is extraordinarily hyperbolic. You know, it's it's one thing you, you can't disagree with somebody about something because if you do, suddenly it's you hate everything about something, right? <laughs> you know, fandom is the same way, right? Oh, fandom drives me nuts. I want to be in discord servers and stuff talking about star wars 
I because I love Star Wars. Star Wars is like is my favorite thing, right? Why am I not getting Oh, probably because this is all backing up because of this nonsense. Um but fandom is so toxic. Um that it's so hard to deal with. Like there's a for, for example, The Mandalorian came out today, and I'm not, not going to get into huge spoilers, but um, one of the actors that was in it this week is Ahmed Best, who was famous or infamous, if you want to look at it that way, for playing Jar Jar Binks. Uh and the reaction to Jar Jar Binks was so toxic that he was near suicide. Jake Lloyd, who played Anakin Skywalker, was just a kid. And they ripped, the internet ripped him apart. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, Gina Carano. Yeah, she had her own issues. And... I'm I'm not going to get into that, but yeah, it's just there's a reason that uh, her character didn't show up in season three of The Mandalorian, right? Um, heck, they had a series. I think they were going to feature her as part of Rangers of the New Republic. Uh oh, and that got that got canceled, um, or I quietly disappeared after they uh, fired Carano. So, yeah, it's just... Uh... Oh, hello, pig. So, yeah, it's just... But, yeah, it drives me nuts. It's like, one of the worst parts of, of modern fandom, and, and it's fandom about anything, whether it's movies or politics or anything else, uh, one of the worst parts of modern fandom is that you, if you dislike something, it's not enough for you to dislike it. You have to try to be sure everybody else dislikes it too, right? And, you know, my generation tried to kill Star Wars. You know, I have very little sympathy for a lot of my peers who's oh yeah well, i love star wars like but yeah y'all tried to kill it because you didn't like jar jar and yeah it's and you know whether it's it, and it doesn't matter so much what it is sometimes it's just that yep we uh we have decided that this is the worst thing ever and nobody else is allowed to like it. And if you do, we will rip you apart on, on social media. Um, oh yeah, it is. It is so bad. Yep, I'm going to lose some frog lights, I think, from this because those guys in there are going to despawn, but I think it's okay. We'll just... Uh... I suppose I could. Huh. This guy's empty. Yeah, I suppose I could do something with these, but we'll not worry about that. You know, and so there are some things like, for example, I one of my favorite Star Wars movies. It's probably my top in my top three, is the Last Jedi. Yeah, maybe my top four. Return of the Jedi is probably my favorite. The Empire Strikes Back is probably number two. And The Last Jedi, probably, I can't, actually, it's hard to say if I actually like that one more than A New Hope or not. Oh, going to Disneyland in April to, oh, get your lightsaber made. Nice, 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 nice. But, Man, you tell people you like The Last Jedi, and it's, 
it's like you've blasphemed against everything that is good and right in the world, man. All right, so if I want to... All right, so if I want to get this stuff out, now this is where I have to start thinking about where are the rails going? Where's the stuff coming up out of this? You know, all that goodness. And, but yeah, it's just, it's just crazy how abusive the internet gets if you decide you like something that they didn't. Yeah. And it's weird because the prequels get all, get all this hate. And I'm not going to say they are perfect movies by any means because they're not. But they're ne they were never as bad as the internet, quote unquote, as fandom as the world claims they are. They weren't the Return of the Jedi. They weren't the Empire Strikes Back. But they were fun. Like your Trills Your Ranks prequel, original sequel. Yeah, well, that's true. See, I grew up, the very first movie I ever saw in theaters was Star Wars. Before they called it A New Hope, it was Star Wars. Now, I was this big, right? I was newborn. <laughs> but, um, and I watched The Empire Strikes Back more times than I could count. I watched it every day. Um, and yeah, just like you, JS, some people, the prequels are their Star Wars. That's the first Star Wars they ever saw. And... That's what Star Wars is. And that is awesome. That, that is amazing. You have what, 240p? Well, I, you know. It was on a, it was in a theater. So. No, no, I watched it in VHS, so it was 480p, you know, standard def. But, you know. All right just going to bring this around this way because I'm, I'm going to pave over this whole thing with slabs once I uh, figure out how everything's going to look. Okay. I'm not even sure I like this here, but, you know, we'll stick with that. Now, So, yeah, I watched the heck out of those. But there are a lot of people who the first Star Wars they ever saw was the prequels. And that's, yeah, right. Well, you know, I'm an old guy. I, I fully accept that. I'm a middle-aged fat man. I, I totally get that. I'm going to clear out some space here because I'm going to need to put in some, uh, a bunch of stuff, actually. said I need to figure out where I want the trains to go and then figure out how I'm going to get uh, items up to them. Yep. So, you know, there are people like there are kids. When they were kids, Jar Jar Binks was th the greatest part of Star Wars because he was funny. That's half the reason he was there. He was the Jar Jar's character shows joy and innocence and you know, fart jokes, but <laughs> you know, you got to ap appeal to the 12 year olds, you know, and that's what I think a lot of my generation, when they saw the prequels and they saw Jar Jar and they saw kid Anakin and they just forgot that Star Wars is for as much as anyone else. Star Wars is for 12 year olds. That's what George Lucas how he described it. Um, and man, they just... And now you see a lot of love for the prequels. Like in the Kenobi series, which came out this summer. They had Hayden Christensen back as Anakin. Um, and Darth Vader. And it was great. And it was all... It was Ewan McGregor who played Obi-Wan in the prequels, right? I mean, it was... There was, it was a prequels type renaissance, man. It was awesome. Um, and it is 
so great to see. And the the Mandalorian has been playing so much on that thing, on that uh, on the prequels and stuff lately. Yeah, well, and one of the things about the prequels is it stemmed partly as how did we get here, but George Lucas was never happy about the people who were who were basically setting up Darth Vader as their hero. Right? And you always get those people who, oh yeah, the villain was the greatest part of this movie. And, you know, Star Wars is not unique in this. Um, but the villain was the best part of this. And, you know, they're just all about Vader. But Vader was the freaking villain. He tortured Leia, right? And Han, for that matter. Um, though, as a father, I can understand wanting to, to torture your daughter's boyfriend. You know, I get that. Um, and yeah, yeah, Obi-Wan, he can't sit in a cave forever. And you can tell that story in a number of ways. There have been uh, comics and other things that have tried to dip into that story. What was... What was Obi-Wan doing in that cave before uh, Luke or and well before R2 and 3PO showed up, right? But George Lucas wanted people to see Darth Vader for the tragic character that he that he tried to make him. And so to do that, he started with Anakin as a child. Because you can see that fall from Anakin's innocence as a child to this murdering rage monster. And, you know, it's... Uh, and what what gets you from, from point A to point B, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it this way. No... What gets a kid like Anakin to become, you know, a rage-filled uh, killing machine? And that was what the, the prequels were trying to say, you know? So, yeah, it's... And, and my, one of the reasons I love The Last Jedi... I understand those complaints. It's not, quote unquote, it's not Star Wars. Um, yeah, episode, episode two. See, Anakin's problem was attachment. And in the Jedi, they they teach that you're not supposed to get attached because when you become attached, uh, if you become it's, it becomes too easy to justify wrongdoing to protect your uh, to protect whoever you're attached to. Now, I, the part of the story is that the Jedi went too far with it, and they weren't there to support Anakin when he was um, when he was having trouble. But all right, I think. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think that'll work. So, yeah, so you see part of that when his mom dies and he turns and he goes and slays the Tuscans. And then you see it when, at, when Padme is in danger, potentially in danger, and we find out th then later through the storytelling that it was Anakin's actions that brought her to the point that he feared. You know, because he went searching for for help when uh, when he had that vision of her dying in childbirth, and Yoda's answer was not helpful. You know, his answer was, you know, must give up those who are willing to let them die, and he couldn't let that go. You know. Oh yeah, and then. Of course, yeah, the rest of the Jedi, Windu not wanting him there. 
Anakin or Obi Wan not being the father figure that a, that young Anakin needed. Um, Dave Filoni, if you have not seen it, um, there's a behind the scenes documentary on the making of season one of The Mandalorian, and Dave Filoni goes on this. I'm not going to say rant, but he talks about the importance of the duel of the fates that the song was named after is the duel between uh, Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul. And it's the fates of Anakin. If, if Qui-Gon survives that, he may have actually been the father that Anakin needed. But he didn't. And even though Darth, Darth Maul lost and, you know, all that stuff, you know, Obi-Wan wins, slices Maul in half, and that leads to other adventures, but it still left Anakin in a weird place. And you see that especially, too, you see a lot of that in the Clone Wars animated show, which is amazing. Um... Highly recommend it. So, some of the best storytelling in Star Wars is actually in, in animation. And yeah, Mace Windu never wanted him there. There's a lot of build up with that. But you look at those, it said, I, I loved The Last Jedi. But The Last Jedi spoke to me. I saw myself very much in Luke Skywalker. Because I have been, well, you know, I'm a middle-aged dude, right? I've lived a lot of my life. And there's a lot that I've done that I regret, right? I, I mean, I've, I, you know, it's just, it's hard to live any length of time without dealing with, uh, you know, regretting your life choices. Yeah, Qui-Gon Jinn series. Well, they did have... Um, uh, I forgot what his son's name. Liam's son did the voice of Qui-Gon Jinn in uh, the most recent series of animated shorts. So I could totally see them do more Qui-Gon in animation. I think... Yeah. But yeah, here's here's Luke though in the Last Jedi, and he's he's an old man who thinks he's failed because of what happened with uh, Kylo Ben Solo. And man, I I'll tell you, I I I fell for Luke, man. I totally understand where he's coming from with that stuff, you know. All right, now I could. Narrow this along here, but I think for now I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave this this section hollow. I suppose what I could do is now it would be nice, I suppose, to have a way down under there, but you know what I could do is I could continue this down and go straight under that way. That might work. Um, I had the brass ladders. Did I? I might have put them away. Might have just thrown them in the storage system. Okay. I only have two of them. That's all right. I can... I think I can just craft up a few more. There we go. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Luke failed. And, and yes, he absolutely did fail. He... He failed in a way that caused all sorts of trouble for the galaxy. But he couldn't... Um, he couldn't or wouldn't forgive himself. Okay. Yeah, this is going to have to go... Nope, I have no lights. Uh, well, I've got plenty of lights walking right past me here. Right. Give me, give me... Oh... 
I guess what this is saying is it's done shifting everything out of here, which is cool. All right. Let's see if I can catch another frog light if after I sleep. But yeah, any position where you get trying to help someone do better and they fail. Yeah, it's just and I, and I totally feel that, you know? There are times I look at um you know, choices I've made as a parent and how they've affected my kids and where what my kids did or didn't do and all that type of stuff. Oh yeah, I I get that and it's like, all right, yep, I am a I am absolutely a failure here and Ah she's monkeys. Alright, where does this go? Back to there. All right. All right, we'll leave that open for the moment. So, yeah. So I see that that story in uh, The Last Jedi of here's Luke trying to, he tried to be the mentor. Right? He tried to be Yoda. And when he failed at that, and he failed in the exact same way he feels that uh, Obi-Wan did. Because Obi-Wan failed Anakin in some ways. Though, Anakin at least took credit for his own fall. <laughs> right? In, o in the series, you know, he told Obi-Wan, you didn't fail me, I chose this. So, okay, you know. What you do you, Annie. Um... So yeah, I totally get Luke. And I totally get Ray trying to figure out what is my place in this world? She's dealing with a power she doesn't understand. She's suddenly no longer just a a junk trader out in in uh Jakku trying to figure out what do I do with this? I have power now. How do I use this? How do I help people? And Luke's only answer is um, the Jedi should go away and, you know, it's not helpful. <laughs> but that's because he was so afraid of, of his failure. And man, I tell you, I get that. I understand that. Okay. Cool, so that's going to give me a nice run under there for to check on the storage, check on the overflow. Yeah, exactly. And everyone sort of seems to forget that Luke giving up. Stop that. Luke giving up or going into hiding was in the first movie, the first uh, sequel, The Force Awakens. That wasn't something that Ryan Johnson invented for uh, The Last Jedi. All right, so all of this is going to come down this way. All right. Cool. So, yeah, I should do a little cleanup down here, but this is good for now. Um, right, so, but to tell people that, oh, yeah, I like The Last Jedi. This is cool. Uh, man, it, it's... It's like telling somebody their mother kisses camels. I mean, it's just... They do not <laughs> respond well to that, you know? So... I do kind of like framing the... Framing the vaults. Even though I'm going to pave them over, it may help me later just know where they're at. <laughs> And said so that's the that's the thing that's that drives me nuts about fandom, and it you see that in politics too. It's not enough that you disagree with somebody's politics; it's suddenly they are the worst thing ever if you disagree with their politics. You know, it's 
it's just not cool. You know, if you think a certain behavior is wrong and somebody practices that behavior, now it's, they wish I never existed. It's like, well, that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it's very hate-filled rhetoric and I blame the politicians themselves for part of it because they fundraise off of it. You'll never believe what so-and-so said. Donate to my campaign to, uh, so we could stop so-and-so. Yeah, it just gets, it all gets painful. I don't want to deal with it, which is why I got out of politics. Killed off my uh, politics podcast. Oh, I am so tempted to podcast again. Not about politics, just about random nonsense like this. But, oh, I am so tempted. I don't have time, but I am seriously tempted by it. All right, so I think what I want to do... Oh, yeah, the velocity doesn't help. Yeah. Well, and sometimes the the hate machine gets going really fast. Talk about velocity. That's right. Sometimes somebody will get accused of a crime. Okay, yep, crime, bad, fair, gotcha. We're, we're, I think we can be sort of on the same page there. But before they've, any of the facts are known, before a trial, before anything, they have lost their job. Um, they can't go anywhere in public without uh, getting attacked, you know, verbally or metaphorically, um, or sometimes physically, right? <laughs> so blow up by tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, because the fandoms suck, you know. And I said, it's not the first time I've uh, gone on a rant like that. And you start to see it with just about anything. But, you know, it's like, what am I, what can I, it's like, can I express myself? Can I not? Is this okay? Is it not? You know, and some of it, I, it's really problematic. And, you know, that's my, I hate the, I hate the term and I hate the practice of cancel culture. But the problem is so many people jump on it and they, they just, you end up losing all social status before facts are known or, or anything. And it's like, man, this is, uh, it becomes a problem. Yeah. Yeah, if somebody agrees with you, and and this is not exclusive to um, one side or the other of the political spectrum, right? This is not exclusive to anything. And I said I'm not don't want to get into the, the politics here, but I, yeah, I see it on both sides, and it's you know the, the all the tribalism that surrounds it is just it's a, it's a problem. Okay, that needs to go, that actually needs to be there. Um, all right, though it, it could be up this way, but I don't feel like uh, changing it, so we'll go with this. So, yeah, it's, so you, you can't even have a dialogue. You have people talking past each other, you get, it's like, yep, this is this is what I believe. This is why I believe it. And it's like, oh no, you just hate kittens or something. All right. So I, I've I've been sort of putting off my actual decisions here. Um So what I need is to figure out where I want this train to go. Now, because I didn't put it away, I do have a little bit of train track. So this should be up at on Y69, because I don't really want the track to dip. I want it to stay up. So 
if this is going to come across this way, see what would be fun would be to have another building kind of coming up this way where everything sort of goes. Yeah. Yeah, too busy <laughs> using all available brain power to think about what to say. Yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah. So 69, this is 67, 8, 9. So basically want to be up at this level. So we're... All right, so if I run the train across here, which, again, is easy to do, I need to be able to run up some power. I need to run up items in some way, which means I have to come out of the vault and go up. Okay, so just to add light, but also then to just mark things a little bit. That'll go there. So, yeah, it just, I don't know. Yeah, the, the whole world's a mess, and sometimes I just want to talk Star Wars or talk Marvel or, or whatever without getting attacked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, we're just gonna let's just slapificate all of this stuff and Okay, so that'll go there. Um So if this is gonna come this way Hang on. Sometimes I just want to say, I dislike baseball without being uh, attacked by a zillion and a half baseball fans, you know? All right. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Um, I need, need some quartz, because that's what these buildings are made out of, is quartz. Um, go. And I think I can put those away for now. I'll need them again, but for now, let's put them away. And Okay, so if I need this to come up here, let's go ahead and, again, here's the center, right? I'm going to come off set. No, no, that is the center. Okay. So this would come up this way a little bit. All right, so this is going to come up 768, 69. This is ground level, right? So whatever happens here, it's going to have to come this way, like this. Okay, cool. Now, I need to get items up, and there are a number of ways of doing that. Um, I think what I want to do, let's see, now I can come out of the, I can come out of the vault with a funnel, which I put away, which is probably a good thing. Um, and in fact, I have to come out of the vault with a funnel. I can't really come out of it any other way. I guess I'd come at it with a hopper, but that's way too slow. So, so to do that, I'd have to come into something. And then probably what I would do is take some shoots and maybe take fans up. That might work. Um, let's grab some shoots here. And unfortunately, that means I might need, shoot, another seven, another seven funnels here. Because the way this would work is I would have to, 
basically I'd have to run out this way. I'd basically have to run stop that. Whatever I just placed was wrong. Here we go. I'd have to run a couple of these across in order to just get the stuff moving out of the vault, I think. And then a lot of things would go the way of the dodo if people would just stop talking about them. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a whole special argument, too. Okay, so if I set up shoots and fans, and since I'm doing this over here, of course, because why would I do it over the other side? 69, okay, so that's going out this way. So this would come up basically here. Now, this is ground level. Now, if I want this to go into um, a PSI, right, if I want the trains to pick it up from the side, which I could totally do, though I am half tempted to have it feed out above, though that's that might be more complicated than I need, really. Of course, I could also run the trains across this way, which is still fine. I, and I could feed the PSIs out this way and run the tracks. Oh, that would that could be cool, because then I could build this building up, connect over to the farms a little bit. All right. But again, ground level is, oops, ground level's here. Where's my, do I have dirt? I have, oh yeah, I got lots of dirt, cool. So this would have to come this way. Actually, yeah, so I do kind of like the idea of the trains running through here, but they'd have to run it at ground level here, which is fine. Um, it's up two blocks and then the PSI would have to sit right there. Okay. And that means the train has to be at, at best it's going to, or furthest away from that, it's going to be over here. Okay. Which, that's fine, and go out that way and go out that way, and I could, even though I wouldn't really use it, potentially, I could double rail this. Let's see, where is it? So this is, right, one block in from that. If I were to come in this way, okay, so that's actually right at the end, that's fun. I could do this, and I could actually run parallel tracks it wouldn't help with the uh, pickup necessarily, though it could. If I want to run, rather than pick up from the side, I'm not going to be picking up so much that I need two sets of trains coming in here to either pick up or drop off. But, uh, let's see, because this could go this way. Now, I have, if I wanted to actually have the trains load from the top, that's basically what I'm doing here. And that's 64, I think that's seven blocks high. So if the floor is 64, top is 60, uh, 71, where that PSI is. 64 to 71. So up five, so it'd be 76 where the top would be. But uh, 76. Uh, 76 or 77, either of the, those would work. So I have scaffolding, right? Yep. All right, so if this goes up this way, we're talking 
four, five, six, seven, seventy-seven, right there, which means. Okay, that means we're put putting a PSI right there, though sticking out. Because it would have to be centered over this track, which is what what is that? 344. Okay, so that would have to be out what? 344. That would have to be right there. Um like how I marked that, I'll just slap a <laughs> We'll slap a pole there, which is fine. I can actually run it all the way across and and such, but and I'm getting enough stuff that yeah, I could totally uh, make that work. But yeah, I don't know. A lot of things would be better if people would just let people enjoy what they enjoy and. You know, not uh, flip out quite so much. Okay, so that's that's at seventy seven. Top of this is seventy nine, right? I'd have to have belts coming across. Yeah, basically, this would I would just extend this roof all the way over. That would work. That would totally work. Okay, now I'd want a different floor other than dirt, and that's, you know, easy enough to do, but. Huh. Huh, 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 this might actually work. I'm going to take this bed with me. <laughs> you know, I'm standing over here just being a, you know. All right, so. Yeah, because if I just run the track across there, run it out far enough so I can join both tracks out to, you know, basically this rail line, which I can then, right now I've got it going straight that way. I could also have it curve in both directions, right? That could be, lead to some fun things, but... Right, I can have this curve out that way to move that signal. That's fine. Um, a lot of things, the trucks were going to be coming from that side, so they'll come around and this way. And they'll almost certainly just go that way then to the storage. Or to the storage... And then around this way, because like the blaze rods and the magma creams will come this way. Because they'll drop off at that uh, PSI. Portable storage interface. Okay. So. I like this. Now. I think if I want this to be, I'd want to move these these pillars out of all, because what I can do is I can put high-speed fans and blow anything that goes in there up onto a uh, mechanical belt that'll then feed across onto all of the, the trains. So I can do that. That's fine. Um, I think what I'd want to do is probably shift this over. This is four? Yeah, what I'd probably do, this would make some sense, is I'd bring quartz down this way, which will then shift this line over, which is fine. Um, and then this is... What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Right? From there. One, two, three, four, five. Over to this building. So I'd want to come out this way. I don't have any slabs. Guess it doesn't really matter, but. 
Yeah, it does. Let me grab some slabs. It'll be all sort of hidden, I suppose, but... <sighs> slabs. Okay. So, I would instead put the quartz here. Right, that's going to go that way. Maybe. But if I'm going to come out this way, I might go out from here. One, two. Stop that. You're in the wrong place, slab. Nobody said it wanted you there. Okay, maybe I sort of clicked, but it's my mouse's fault. I'm going to blame the mouse. It did nothing wrong. It's an inanimate object, but um, it's all the rage blaming inanimate objects for the actions of people. So, yeah, no, you're right. I do need to stop, but I want to count this out here real quick just to be sure. All right, so if this comes down here, it's five to this wall. One, one, two, three, four, five. And then, so coming from this wall, it's actually one, two, three, four, five. That would go there. And then I could build up something like this and have a little building. I would need some way of uh, basically hiding these, these tubes uh, of shoots. Okay, which is totally doable, totally doable. And then, uh, so there, these shoots are almost certainly going to have to be in the wall here somewhere. And I can surround them and double this up, and I can do all sorts of cool stuff. So, okay. If I got real clever. So, did I count by... One too many. Um, so I'm counting from this block. This block? No, this block. So you may be right. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, you're right. Thank you. See, this is this is why you have chat, because they'll, they'll fix you. They'll get you fixed right up. All right. Yeah, because it would be this wall, just like this wall is one, two, three, four, five away from that. And I want to sort of keep that. Right. So, right. This is all right across that black. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then this next wall. Yep. Nope. You were absolutely right. Given my luck, I'd have built the whole thing up before I noticed it. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I can do, I could do a number of things. Kind of, I actually have a thought that maybe what I would do, I'll have to try it and see, but maybe instead of going into shoots, what would look cool is to dump the items into water columns with a thing up here at top, at the top, like a, a funnel to suck them up onto a belt line and then run that across the top. I think that will work. Ooh, 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 I think this is going to work. Yeah, I'll just extend this building across and down. Using the water columns, I could use tinted glass or probably green glass with the water up inside it. Yes, and that's, and that's going to look cool, having seven different water columns going up and all sorts of excitement. Okay, okay, I think I have a plan. Um, I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but uh, it is definitely a plan. <laughs> I, I love it when a plan comes together. But you do have to have a plan first, and I'm not entirely sure I do. 
but I, I like where this is going. I do, I do. All right. Let's, uh, it is time to, to, uh, call it for the night as, as Sprite so, uh, kindly pointed out. Um, it's, oh man. Now, the fun thing, I, cause I've got the stream elements chat here. It's very cool. It does take it a moment to catch up. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. I do want to thank all of you for hanging out with me today. Um, it's been, it's been fun ranting a little bit, I suppose. Um, I do want to point you all over at my socials. If you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok or discord, all that good stuff. And, uh, next stream will be on Tuesday, 6 PM mountain da daylight time. Uh, I've got videos coming out Saturday and Tuesday. So be sure to check that action out. And until then, um, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn on notifications because that's cool. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off. <laughs>